Hello everyone, the Big Easy Chef here. This time we're going to be making hot wings. These are always a favorite. Chicken wings fried golden crispy brown with seasoning that adds a little heat. These wings are a great appetizer, perfect for watching TV or for a party, you name it. And these wings are always a favorite. So let's not waste any more time. Why don't you and I run into that kitchen and see what's a shaking and get the bacon. You want to start with these party wings. They are the wing flats and the wing drumsticks. They don't have any wing tips. It's funny, you have wing flats and wing tips. It sounds like shoes to me, just saying. The first thing you want to do after you take these wings out of the package is to rinse them with plenty of cool water. With the wings rinsed, dry them off with a paper towel. Okay. To turn these drumsticks into drumettes, you'll need to cut the meat away from the bone at the end that has the less meat. It takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be breezing through those drumsticks fast. A sharp knife makes the job easy. When the meat's cut away from the bone, then you want to slide it down to the other end. Now you have a drumette, a chicken wing lollipop. These are very easy to eat with a nice handle on the end. There isn't much you can do with the flats, but trust me, they're as easy to eat also, and they taste just as great. What's your favorite part of the wing, the flat or the drumstick? Leave a comment down below. Okay, with those drumettes made and the wings dried off, place the wings in a large bowl. Add to your wings salt and pepper. If you want extra hot wings, then add some cayenne pepper. I'm a believer that food should be flavored with spice, not turned into molten lava. It should just have flavor that accents the food, but everyone has their own taste. Whatever works for you. With your wings seasoned, toss them to coat all of the wing. Make sure they're coated all over with those spices. Now take a cup of all-purpose flour and add to the flour one tablespoon of baking powder. Mix the flour and baking powder together. With the mixture well combined, Toss it onto your wings. Now mix the wings well in the flour, coating all of the wings. At this point you have these seasoned coated wings. Shake off the excess flour and place them on a plate. Allow the wings to set for about five minutes. This would be a good time to start heating some oil in a pot, adding enough oil to cover the wings. Canola oil works just fine. Any high temperature oil will work for frying these wings. With your oil heated to about 370 degrees Fahrenheit, lower the wings into the oil slowly, careful not to splash, and lower the wings away from you. Now you want to cook these wings for about 10 minutes. You don't want to hurry this process as we want these wings fully cooked. You know, cooked to where the meat will just fall off the bones when we bite into them. We want these wings cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit internally. Everyone knows undercooked chicken can make you very sick. I cooked them for 10 minutes, keeping the oil at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the cooked wings on a rack with a paper towel underneath. Allow the wings to drain. This will keep our wings nice and crunchy and not oil soaked. Place the drained wings in a large bowl. Now pour in one quarter cup of melted butter. Larger batches of wings will require more butter. It's time for the hot sauce. I added one quarter cup of hot sauce, the same amount as the butter. I think this is a perfect ratio of butter to hot sauce. I'm using Frank's hot sauce. I think this is the best sauce for hot wings. You may have your own favorite sauce. Be careful of really hot sauces. If you're feeding a crowd, not everyone likes their food burning hot. Toss the wings to coat them with the butter and hot sauce. Okay, there you have it. Hot wings at their best. These wings go perfect with some blue cheese dressing for dipping. If you need to make some blue cheese dressing, there's a link below for the recipe. Check it out. Okay, now you know what time it is. It's time to dig in. Oh, these wings are perfect. They have just the right amount of seasoning. They're crunchy. These wings are very tasty. So now you can make the perfect hot wings. Remember what they say, you are what you eat, so eat healthy. Until next time. I am the Big Easy Chef. Okay, so I was looking for something special on TV so I can enjoy the rest of these wings. 
No, that isn't it. No, that isn't it either. Oh, there it is. 